All right, we are talking Dancing with the Stars. It's back. Can you believe it? Uh, yeah. Last night, first episode here on Channel 13. It's an all-athlete edition. Frank Marino, star of Divas Las Vegas, the queen of Las Vegas, here to talk about it. Welcome. Yes, all athletes. It's a shorter season this year. Yeah. and. Uh, it's, less airtime for you. Uh -oh. Less airtime. I'll have to come back for something. <laughs> Fashion. I know. And you and I were talking about the all athlete. We we're like, well, I don't know if I'm going to like this, but I actually like the group yes, of people. Yes, it actually really, they picked great athletes that we knew. And, and you're going to see when I go through this today that yeah. it's become a popularity contest already. Right. Well, I mean, uh, uh, Adam Rippon, he's he's the first one yes. um, that we want to talk about. He became so popular during the Olympics. Well, he's very popular now because of the Olympics, mm -hmm. okay? And because of being a skater, he's all, most of them are very good dancers, sure. okay? So we knew he would do very well. He's uh -huh. against his partner because he's a, his team dancer, you know, in the Olympics. Okay. So okay. they're both on the show. But uh, he did get one of the highest scores of the night, the highest actually. He just tied with somebody oh. else for the highest. And um, I, I think they did. Everybody did very good for day one. So yeah. he did really good. But I knew he would do good. And, right. Uh, He's going to be one to remember. Wow, yeah, that's fierce. He's snapping all his moves. Yes. Uh, all right, to Adam. Um, and then Tanya Harding, now, a lot of people. Okay, so here's the thing. She got a very high, she got like the second highest score. The only thing is, she was one of the people almost eliminated because people, you know how we are in America, mm -hmm. judge and jury before anything comes <laughs> out. But they're not, America, they got, she got great scores from the judges, but America seems to be being tough if she was put in that position. So now you know she's teeter tottering with what happened, but hopefully she'll make America fall in love with her again. All right. And you know, you can't keep punishing somebody for the same thing. Yeah, but how was she? She doesn't look that. Was it, was it good? Well, this is, yeah, it was good. It was, <laughs> no, her okay. lines were perfect and everything <laughs> because she was a skater. Right. But right. you watch, I think she'll break out. All right, Jamie Anderson. Oh, so, okay, so Jamie Am Anderson. Um, again, last night I thought it was okay, mm -hmm. but uh, she's one of the ones that ended up going home. Okay. All right. So out of it wasn't the weakest person, but she still ended up going home, and this is where that popularity comes in. Right. Right. Good set, though. Hey, Johnny Damon. Uh, this is a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. So <laughs> he, to me, he was the same as her. He, 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 he's like one of those ones that don't know really what to do. But right. People like him, sure. but unfortunately, he ended up losing it last night as well. Nobody ever goes home the first night, let alone two people. Right. So that was tough. Yet, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yes. He is loved by everything. He had the bottom score, but he wasn't even in danger. Really? Look so how tall he is. So that's what I'm saying. America loves Holy. him, and they're a little sketchy on Tanya Hart. Uh -huh. Yeah, how do you dance with oh. him? He's seven feet tall. I mean, come on. So she's on a box. But P.S., he's getting America's vote. We love him. He's a treasure. So it's ridiculous how tall he is. Exactly. This is going to be a so fun season. So the fact season. that it's not only on dancing anymore, and that's what's not really fair. In right, mind. right. Okay. Well, so uh, a lot of interesting stuff coming up in the next three weeks that we have left. So yeah. we'll see what happens. I think it's going to be entertaining. That's it, for sure. All right. Let's talk about Divas Las Vegas. Uh, we got about a minute to talk about your show and something new you're doing. This oh is really God. cool. Facebook we, Live is the new thing, right? We, yes. We came up with the best idea. Everybody's like, keep making it more for the millennials, more for the millennials. Like, what do I do? So I'm putting Britney <laughs> Spears and Katy Perry and all the people they like, mm -hmm. but that's not what it was. I just came up with the, they love to interact. It's all about the phone, it's the mm -hmm. computer. So before my show, I Facebook Live around the world and I put it on the screen in the theater. There you are. And uh, yeah, that's me last night asking, who do you want to see, Diana Ross or Dionne Warwick? Do you want to see Cher or Barbara Streisand? Because so many of my kids are so talented, they do two and three acts. Mm -hmm. I let you as the audience design, cut. you become a Vegas producer. Right. You know, director. So you decide what you want, so I don't, have somebody say, I saw the show five times. I never got to see Britney Spears. Well, if you pick Britney Spears, you're going to get to see Britney Spears. So oh, that's really they're cool. loving it. The millennials are helping the older people in the room that maybe like me don't understand how to do it. Mm -hmm. And they're sharing it and their friends are seeing it coming to Vegas going, oh, I heard from my friend how you did yeah. this. So it was amazing. Cool. And you get to go right into the dressing room too. I love yes, it. Yes, that was you my dressing room. So people feel like they're, you know, at a meet and greet already. Right. So, right. and they'll talk about, oh, I see all your wigs or your makeup. But, and I answer their questions while everybody's typing in. So all right. it's just been great. Okay. So you have to follow Frank's page and we'll see you next week, Can't Tuesday wait. with more Dancing with the Stars. Stay with us.